trying to come and force it. There's a Perot trying to play it back to Darjan. Now here on the near wing. They push it and send it over the head of Perot. Hemmingson able to chase down a deflection, but he is pressured from behind and gets it a turnover. Here's Melker. Melker will shoot a slow line drive shot. It'll sail wide to the right. Grayson Rayner. Bring it back to Dietrich. We saw in that first half. Clemson very content to build off the back end. Long pass through. Comes all the way to Robbie Robinson. A little tug of the jersey will draw a whistle. Shannon will try to play it quickly, and nobody for Clemson was, was prepared to play that as we watch the replay. As you mentioned, Don, Clemson's back line has been very good at playing the possession game like they like to do and set the, set the action up. Perot able to turn it with that big 6'5", 205-pound body going, carries it into the box. Crosses it, ball loose out front for just a second. Now we're going to get a tug of the jersey nearby Coastal and a whistle and a foul call. Uh, Hamali guilty. You can see him there pulling on the jersey. Morales will just play it out to Bunk Anderson. Clemson will play a little possession here back in. Coastal pressuring that just a tad. Mueller came up. Here's Bunk Anderson into the Coastal half. Pushes it far wing. Melvin touches it quickly. Jason Wright trying to push it through. Looking for Campos off the foot of Chinchilla. Bad pass there. And Dargent carries it to Melker. And then they'll feed it here on the near wing to Pepra. Pepra. Carrying it, it's bumped off by Chinchilla, but Pepper all the way down, tries to cross it, deflects out, and then Clemson will relieve the pressure in a battle between Campos and Dargent. A little extra pushing and shoving, and Campos again will push off on, on Melker as Melker comes up and tries to pressure ball on him. The only reason he's doing that is to try to stop Clemson from getting back into play. Yeah, there's been a concerted effort to try to Create a little chippiness with, with Campos. Yeah. Campos has always been a guy that's worn his emotions on his sleeve. You can see he and, and Dargent there getting after it. A little extra push there that probably wasn't deserved all that much. Here's a look at Diego Campos. Shannon will touch it back to Tanner Dietrich and Clemson and once again will try to build off the back end. Shannon trying to touch it back to Dietrich as the ball comes here near side. Does not go out of bounds. Dietrich keeps it inbounds. And a whistle and a foul call here once again against Coastal. And again, Shannon going to try to play it in quick and is able to do so. Gets it to Campos. And get checked by Perot, trying to send it over to Wright. Wright goes down, gets back up, maintains possession. Pressure from behind as Dargent bump, bumps him off the ball. Ball deflects around. Clemson trying to come up with possession. A late whistle here will go against Clemson. Uh, Homali fouled on that. You can tell the things that come out already here in this second half. A little bit of emotion. Coastal Carolina with a 2-1 lead. Trying to get Clemson flustered a little bit here. Yeah, we had a second half. We had a very exciting first half, and now we've got a little bit of testiness, and and uh, you can tell the aggressiveness has picked up. Rowe. Able to touch it off, and then they're going to give it right back to Perot. We'll carry it into the box, look for the cross. There it is! Melker oh. in! Melker, his second goal to make it 3-1 in favor of Coastal. And once again, like they did in the first half, they strike early. Here in the second, 
good cross. Melka right there in front of Rayner. And able to get it by Morales. I think it hit off Bernicle's leg, and that's what allowed the ball to ricochet right in front of the, the goal. So his second goal of the game, his seventh goal this season. So he scores at the 49-12 mark to make it 3-1 Coastal. And that's the thing about soccer, even in some totally benign moments, major consequence happens, and it certainly did there as Coastal Carolina is able to regain their two-goal margin. And a huge goal there for the Chanticleers. Dietrich backside. Chinchilla carry it through. Play it to Rayner. Rayner tackle outside the box. That was a good tackle. Rayner goes down, stays down. The ball goes over the end line. And it'll become a goal kick for Colston. But a good attack on the ball there by Fidel. Sent Rayner scrambling and the ball to flex off of Chinchilla and goes over the end line. Russell knows that defense is going to be key here as Cuffs is going to have to press things now to try to get within a goal. The other thing about this, Coastal, a bigger physical stature team, and maybe they're taking a little bit of physicality right now at Clemson. Here's a quick whistle against Clemson. Coastal will get it into play quickly. Faro. Melker. Could have played off the outside of the foot to high go right back to Melker. And goes over the, the head of Ahamali. Rainer trying to turn and he's dragged down in a whistle in a foul call. Ahamali with a foul there. Bobby Robinson trying to push it forward. Uh, Jason Wright deflects back out. Robinson able to get to it, carry it far away. Chip it in, looking for Campos in the box. Ball comes towards the end line. That's going to go off of Coastal. They call a foul. And I guess they yeah, must call a foul there. Foul on Campos. <laughs> I'm going to push him behind. That's going to be a dangerous play there. Shannon had the, his head down around the knee there of Mueller as he was playing that ball. Dietrich, a long carry into the coastal zone. Rainer trying to chase it down. Sliding tackle will send it out of bounds. Chinchilla picks it up. He's going to leave it now for Shannon. Long throw in by Shannon. Good deep throw in. Ball headed out. Rayner able to get to try to pass it across, but it deflects out. Willoughby far side will play it forward. Anderson trying to make a tackle, got to it. Right able to turn against Willoughby. Thompson comes on the attack, right into the box, try to push it through to Robinson. He couldn't handle it. Willoughby will play it up the wing. Faro will settle it. Thompson again going to chip, chip it deep. Wright cannot chase that down as it goes out of bounds. So throw in in the deep back side here for Coastal. Hemmingson plays it back to Dietrich. Back to Hemmingson. 
Here's Rayner with it. Rayner trying to cross in the box. It does. They're trying to set it up to Campos. And passing in tight quarters just difficult to do against this coastal team, and they're able to clear it. Willoughby will send it back towards midfield. Bunk Anderson. A row battle for it. The Coastal's got a very tall back line. Tall and physical back line. Still plenty of time left over 35 oh, yeah. minutes. But, but much more difficult now for Clemson down 3-1. Robinson trying to stop the defense, trying to clear it in the box. Shannon clears it right. Handball, I believe. Kicked up off his foot, I think, yep. hit him in the hand in a bird ring. Good idea there. You see the ball will come up, hit right. Yep, got his left arm. Menor as Ortiz kicks it deep. Dietrich got the head to it. Rainer going to chase down the air and pass here near sideline. Mark Anderson over to Dietrich. Campos will touch it back. Looking for the long pass through to right. Deflects off of him and cleared. Back on the Clemson end, Bunk Anderson will jump on that, play it back to Morales. Once again, Clemson going to play the possession game. Try to build something. When Coastal has scored, it has been with like lightning quickness. They find a they find a chance and attack. Clemson's lone goal has not been that way. Yeah, Clemson certainly needs to get something set up here in the next 10, 15 minutes to try to to try to get themselves back in a position where they can they're in striking distance. Campos trying to back heel it but couldn't. And out of there with it comes Fidel. He'll make a run with it into the Clemson zone. Perot uses that big body to shield off Dietrich. Ball comes near side, deflects around, and Clemson will come out of there with it. Coastal was looking for the foul there on Perot, but didn't get it. It's hard to move Pro off that ball at 205 pounds, no question. You need to play free safety for a lot of teams. American football. Shannon, I'm not sure where he was trying to play that because he hit that with authority and it goes over the end line becomes a goal kick. Yazid Matthews will come back into the coastal lineup. We'll give Franzi Perot a little bit of a... So here you go. Nine teams out of the ACC made the NCAA tournament. That's the... Second time that has happened. You can already see three of them have been eliminated. NC State, Virginia Tech, Virginia. Comes in on the wrong side of a 3-1. Coastal Carolina lead and Hemmingson goes down. That may be a bit of a cramp. Yeah, you look at those nine teams from the ACC. Seven of them are in the top 12, so how deep the conference has no, been. No, no doubt. Let's see, I've, I can tell you, I've seen that Wake Forest team in person play. The Wake Forest team, really, really good. So we're going to see Andrew Bernicle there check in the match. As Hemmingson has gone out. Anderson able to settle it, plays it forward to right, plays it off to Robinson. Right. Plays it forward. Chinchilla fires a shot. But nice save by him. 
Linares Ortiz. And he stays down. He got his hand stepped on. Or his elbow. He's holding on to his, his elbow. I think it was Oliver Shannon that was there, maybe putting a little pressure as that ball came in on the goalie. Second time, second time tonight, you've seen Linares Ortiz go down, grimacing in pain. And you'll see as Shannon just comes through and just kind of incidentally stepped on him. Right there, we just kicked the end of his elbow. Right. Did not look like it didn't have a lot of, of, of mustard on that on that shot on goal, but there was going through so much traffic. It was a good save by Ortiz. He's selling it. Cold weather probably doesn't help the injuries too much either. <laughs> he caught him right in that funny boom, which I never have understood why it's called a funny boom because there's nothing funny about it when you get tagged there. It's just kind of funny how little it takes, though, to get the uh, <laughs> to aggravate that bone. Some bees up and down your arm, that's for sure. He headed around and finally settled. Campos gets to it. This is back to Dietrich. He's got pressure, so he'll play it back to Chima Morales. Patrick Bunk Anderson pushes it far side. Melvin. <laughs> Bernicle gives it a Dietrich. Campos. Bernicle and Bunk Anderson play it back and forth. Here's Dietrich. Campos trying to push it. The ball sent out of bounds. And throw in for Clemson here at midfield. Mitchell will get it in bounds quickly to Campos. Campos in traffic can't control. Coastal trying to push it forward but headed right back. And that ball sent off of the foot. Dargent goes out of bounds. Right at the base of our camera there midfield. Right. Stops it. Going to give it to Robinson. He draws defensive pressure. Bernicle. Let it play through. Campos trying to back touch it. Sometimes you get too fanciful. Tires have had three or four of those chances yeah, and tonight. Trying to get almost too fanciful with the touch. Working our way to 30 minutes left in regulation. Coastal Carolina with a 3-1 lead. Chinchilla. Rayner. Back to Chinchilla. Flag up. Somebody's offside. Robinson and Wright. I think down the line, one of them got caught. The way this game's played tonight, two-goal lead is, is certainly not safe, even with, you know, 30 minutes to go. Uh, both teams have had so many chances, even here in the second half, the Tigers have had plenty. You see they played it to Chinchilla. Chinchilla had been offside, but was coming back onside. That ball was played to him. Melvin able to get to the deflection, try to play it through to Jason Wright. Wright be fouled from behind by Dargent. Let's see if Clemson once again will just play this quickly. Coastal Carolina knows that. Campos wants to play it quickly. And this is where Campos can't let them get in his head. And they've been able to do it. Even though the official is going to back off Dargent, Dargent knows exactly what he's doing. And now he draws a yellow. Now he didn't know exactly what he was doing there. He kept arguing. And here's the foul. And Clemson wants to play it quickly and Dargent Draws a yellow, third yellow card of this match, second against Coastal. Campos plays it to Rayner, who's checked. 
And here comes Coastal the other way. And I think we're going to get an elbow to Campos. Thrown by Yazid Matthews, and Campos goes down. I think he took one right to the, maybe right to the throat. And he's going to get a red card issue. So now Coastal's going to play a man short the rest of the way. But they're up 3-1, to one, but they'll have to play a man down now at 28.50 left as Campos stays down. That was violent in real time. And with all the chippiness that's gone on, you almost could see something of, uh, of this nature eventually happening. So Matthews issued a red. And Coastal will have to play a man down now the rest of the way with 28.50 left. See if we can see it on replay. Right there kind of in the middle of your screen. And right there, oh, there's no doubt about it. He just took the... The left arm and gave him a shot. Another angle of it. Bang. Looked like right to the, maybe right to the throat, right under the chin. Campos still being attended to. Is he? I think athletic you're trainer Raz has a Yeski out for Clemson to take a look. I think you're right, Don. It looks like it's around the, the collarbone or the or the or the neck area. He sits up. Mike Noonan sees him there in the purple sweater. Out there now. He'll, he'll come over and talk with Saul Chinchilla and Tanner Dietrich. Take one more look. Right there. Bang. See Matthews arguing, but the red card issued. Got the steely stare from our head referee here tonight. Here's Kevin Broadley. Kamarni Smith will come in. Campos to the sideline. We'll take a look at Smith, the freshman. We saw him in the first half. And the sub in is Melker will check out. And Darius Strambler will check back in. Don, this is where the strategy is going to really be interesting because obviously Coastal Carolina, as the game keeps going on, is going to want to park the bus, but they're going to have one less guy to do that now. Clemson will come out on the attack. Kamarni Smith trying to touch it across to right. A little heavy. Here's Rayner crossing it in the box, and that'll be cleared over the inline. Become a corner here for Clemson. Campos would be the one that would normally take the corner, so it's be interesting to see who they're going to send. Looks like Chinchilla to take a look at the replay. Saul Chinchilla will go and take this corner. piece here for Clemson. Comes out top of the box and gets by everybody. Bernicke will touch it back to Melvin. Melvin will play it across, looking for Chinchilla, but headed out. Rainer runs that down, tries to push it back through. And that ball headed, and now will be just cleared out of bounds to the sideline. Off the foot of Pepra. Again, the ball pushed out of bounds. And we get a whistle and a foul call here on Coastal. So this will become a set piece. Only about seven yards outside of the diagonal in the 17. And you see Pepra the trip up there from behind. So Shannon. Trying to touch it in on the bender, headed out. Chinchilla looking to settle it. Able to get by some defenders. Can't get off a shot, however. Defeated to Shannon. 
Shannon will cross it into the box a little low. And Coastal will relieve the pressure. Fidel. Sent it out. And there's Bernicle. Coastal playing a man down. Into the red card issued to Yazid Matthews. Chilla. Bobby Robinson. Right. In traffic. Just a Shannon trying to chase it down. And the ball just be pushed out of bounds far side. So a throw in here for Clemson. Clemson that time was too bottled up. Too many players in the same area of the field. There wasn't enough, enough spacing there. And Linares Ortiz comes out and makes the play on it. Here's a flare for the dramatic. Head headed out of bounds by Funk Anderson. So here comes Franzi Perot back in for Coastal. It's Pygo will check out. Yeah, the Tigers have had some chances here recently, but they just have not had enough real estate to, to be able to wind yeah. up and get their full leg on it. They're getting too bunched up. Spacing hasn't been very good. Create a turnover here. Try to push it through, and there's a whistle and a foul call. Robbie Robinson trying to get things started quickly. Sets it for Shannon, who touches it off to Dietrich. Smith trying to play it through, but deflected away, and then Smith will be guilty of a foul. As Mueller goes down and stays down. And that'll draw a yellow one for Marty Smith. So the second yellow against Clemson. Shannon had one earlier in the first half. That one had the uh, had the spikes up with Smith. down pick himself back up so these are going to be okay Lenares Ortiz ready to kick it away. Mueller gets it back up to speed. Perot able to chest save that back. He'll be trying to play it through the dark. Ball goes out of bounds off of Clemson. And a throw in far side. And a throw it in to Perot. He'll try to turn. He gets tripped up by Bernicle. Foul call. Pretty obvious call there against Bernicle. And now this can become a set piece here for for Coastal. They try to swing one into the box. They just touch it short. That goes up the sideline and saved here by Coastal. A little back heel touch. They try to play it back. Vertical comes up in the air and pass. We get to the 23 minute mark left in regulation. 3 1 Coastal. Got out to a 2-0 lead. Clemson made it 2-1. 
for 20 minutes had expired in the first half, and then a quick goal by Coastal in the first five minutes of the second half. No for his second goal of the game. He's going to shot to clear as a 3-1 lead. In the national number eight seed, Clemson. Smith trying to back heel touch it to right and just cleared. Coastal down a man after the red card was issued to Matthews. So far, there really has not been a threat put together by Clemson since Matthews went out. Smith in traffic, trying to turn it. Rayner chips it. Dietrich looking for the cross and deflects out over the inline off of Pepra and it becomes a corner. Campo is going to check back into the Clemson lineup and see who comes out. Robbie Robinson coming out. So the replay there. So Campo's got some fresh legs now with 22 minutes to play. We'll go over and take the corner. Bender headed out. Coastal will look to clear it if they can. Campos will just clear it out of bounds and force a throw in. Most will take their time throwing this in. You can eat up just some valuable seconds here. This is a foul ball there. Ahomali. Thompson plays it quickly. Melvin to Chinchilla in the box. Tries to carry it through the defense. He battles two defenders. And that ball will deflect off of Chinchilla and become a goal kick. It's been a pretty wide open game, but obviously at this point it's not in Coastal Carolina's interest to, to keep that going. Oh no, down a man. They're just thinking about playing backside defense, clogging attacks up as much as they possibly can. And so far they've been successful in doing it. Up three to one. Side, and that's going to be a throw in here, Clemson. Clemson again just possessing it, brings it into the coastal half. Plays it to Melvin. <laughs> Push it through. Melvin looking for the cross, sends it too far, and they go over the end line. Hits with that left foot. There's too much height on that ball, and he knows it. See Duke. Two nothing lead on Florida International. Gardas and goal. 73 minute mark. Give him the 2 1 lead. Right. Heads it off, and Campos goes down. Looked like he. Maybe caught a cramp. They play on though with Campos down. Rayner. So Chinchilla can't push it through. That ball will just be pushed out of the out of bounds. And they will come and attend to Diego Campos. Fidel comes over and checks on Diego. That looked like it may have been a hamstring. It's a step and you see right there he goes grabbing at the hip. And there's Razieski again. Now you see Campos still on his stomach. Athletic trainers have made too many appearances on the pitch for both teams here tonight. Certainly didn't look like he, anything. Uh, there was no contact made. Not that created like, it. 
like anything. Show you the earlier that Duke had gone up 2-0 on Florida International. Here is how they got there. The Blue Devils play it outside the box and a long shot. <laughs> it's rifled from like 25 yards out. See there on the bug, but Coastal Carolina playing a man down as Matthews was issued a red card at the 62 minute mark. So they continue to attend to Diego Campos. Campos obviously seeing some, some serious pain. Let's see if we can go back and take one more look. So take, he has to run. I'm really not sure what happened. Either way, it's a big blow for the Tigers if Campos can't play the rest of this ball game here tonight because they certainly it. need him offensively uh, as they're trying to claw back in this one. They set him up and try to get him to his feet. He's already kind of playing with that wrap on the on the left thigh. Compression short. And Campos will get up, needs some assistance to come to the sideline. Be interesting to see we see him at all now the rest of this match with 19.05 left. In these situations, it looks like they're going to take him right to the locker room. In these situations, more often than not, it's just got to be next man up. Marnie Smith will handle the courtesy throw in. Throws it in back to Linares Ortiz. Side goes out of bounds because a throw in for Clemson. Robbie Robinson will check back into the Clemson lineup. Rainer is going to check in for Jason Wright. Give him a bit of a breather. No, he's going to check in for Bernicle. Excuse me. Bernicle going to come out. Clock moving during this whole time down to 18:20. Smith All right back to Dietrich try to push it through to Rayner but well played Costa will turn it right back over Shannon trying to push it through they let it go through Dietrich trying to carry it can and that ball will deflect off of Dietrich and out of bounds. Harrison Kurtz in the Clemson lineup now. Number 18, our first look at Harrison. Take a look there at Dietrich. Real estate's going to be tough to come by for the Tigers here. No doubt. Clemson half trying to settle that. They push to your near side and they'll the foot of Strambler. He'll carry it down in the corner. Tripped up. Whistle. Foul call there. Smith, a little trip up on him. Saw the, the contact there. I'm not really sure that's worthy of whistle. Campos comes back out of the locker room. You see him over there in the sideline trying to stretch things out. Opportunity here for Coastal. A goal here off a of set piece would be a dagger. So he's played in and Chimo Morales has to go up and bat that ball away. And you see he was already out of, oh, they call a foul on the backside. Excuse me. Foul call on the backside of that. Either way, didn't miss the cross by crossbar by Marsh. <laughs> no, it did not. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Robinson, Kurtz, Dietrich. This is going to be tight quarters now here for Clemson, so if they're going to play it in these tight quarters, pinpoint passing is going to become the utmost important. And Rayner loses it. And the ball clear towards midfield. Dietrich will jump on top of that. But as the field gets compressed here, as Clemson gets closer and closer to the goal, I, I think really that's more an advantage for Coastal than anything else. Well, you, you have to have some really quick passing in tight quarters. Without question. A guy like Wright, he's very shifty. He might be able to make something happen. Uh, he's been spectacular so far tonight, but it's just really hard to get a good boot on it. For cross here. Here it is. Ball in the air. Headed around. Deflected. Wright couldn't get there. Rayner will keep it. He'll try to cross it. And that will deflect out of bounds and become a corner. See if Clemson will play this quickly. Rayner goes to the corner. He'll touch it out to Chinchilla. Chinchilla looking to cross it into the box, and that ball will just be cleared out for the Clemson sideline. Chinchilla trying to touch it forward. Breaking Harrison Kurtz in here on the sideline. Al Hamali, and he is tripped up in a foul call there on Clemson. And we're under 15 to go, counting our way down to the 14-minute mark left in regulation. Campos may have come out of the locker room, but there's really no chance he's come back in the game. He's no, still he's hobbling, hobbling over there. Yeah, he is definitely hobbled. Ronnie Smith comes up with a turnover. He'll send it to right. Right check from behind, however. Coastal has that well defended. Willoughby trying to clear it. Ball to flex. Right. Pushes it through into the box. And that'll be a foul call there. On Roger Robinson. And that was just kind of a pull down. That could have drawn a yellow. And I'm a little surprised that it didn't with the way that he grabbed Grab the jersey and then just tug down. I think Fidel. that was a sense of frustration there because yeah. that, that was a great setup for the Tigers. They had room, they had an opportunity to navigate in there. And you see the, the look of frustrations on the young freshman Robbie Robinson's face there. Shannon. Sends it off on the wing. Push it through. Chinchilla keeps it alive. Kurtz trying to carry it through. Some defensive pressure can't. And here's Jason Wright with it. Trying to chip it over towards Chinchilla, but cleared. And we're going to get a foul on Wright. Trip from behind. And you can sense the frustration now building really for Clemson. Down two goals. Here to Coastal. And a trip there by Jason Wright. I think Wright wanted to just boot it from the edge of the box, but there's just so much so many bodies in, in front. He knows that's just not gonna not gonna work. And as Ortiz will boot it away. Perot, he's it off on the wing. Dargent back to Perot. Willoughby clears it to Dargent. And then the ball out of bounds off the foot of Dargent. But down to 11 and a half minutes left. In a sense that Clemson needs a, obviously needs a goal here, but they need it probably in the next three to four minutes. There's really a chance for them to come back and just tie this match. Oh, 
Chinchilla trying to head it forward, can't. Coastal Dargent will just get on it, trying to get it over to Perot. They get it to Willoughby, and then he sends it up the wing in Perot's direction. He almost carried that through. And Bunk Anderson got just enough on it to stop him from doing so. Here's Dietrich. Shannon Robinson played it right back to Robinson, but well played on the backside by Fidel. Once again, Clemson will pressure. Remember, Postal played a man down. Push it through, looking for Shannon in the box, and he'll be shielded off. That ball just sent to the sideline by Strambler. Long throw in, headed out. Rainer trying to chip it back in. Remember Bunk Anderson being pushed off of the ball there by Dargent, but no whistle, no call. It becomes a corner here for Clemson. He was at the thing that Dargent thought he was going to hear a whistle, but never came. The corner fisted out. We'll just slow it down. Now they'll shoot it forward. Perot. Rainer able to head it away. Now Hamali couldn't settle it. But it is settling. Now push to Perot. Perot will go one on one. Carry it into the box. Trying to push it back with the left foot and he slipped and fell. Feet came right out from underneath him. He was, Perot was the only man from Coastal Carolina on the Clemson half. No, he was he was going to take it right at the net. That was watch the replay here. Watch. Sets it up right there. Just going to try to cut it back. Foot came right up underneath it. Dietrich trying to push it through. Looking for right and cleared once again. Pepper. Robinson trying to cut it to his left. Can't. Dargent comes out of there with it. He will carry it through. Pushes it through. Gets it to the foot. And we're going to get an offside call here. Now Hamali had jumped a little bit ahead of that. They call the offside. Clemson comes the other way. Eight minutes left in regulation. Trying to push it through. Clemson looking for the handball there against Dargent. Didn't get it. Now Hamali feeds it up to Strambler. Strambler going to push it through. He's going one on three. Can't get it by Bunk Anderson, though. And Bunk Anderson will play to Oliver Shannon. Now, now Clemson's got numbers. This is where they need to force it. Had a couple of defenders behind him. Yeah, it's in these transition moments the Tigers are going to have an opportunity. Right. Trying to push it through into the box, but left it behind Smith. And once again, Coastal just clears it to midfield. Patrick Bunk Anderson settles it. Shannon. Kirk's had it taken away. Perot. Here he comes on the attack. The big 6-4 body tackled by Melvin. Comes over to Kurtz. Go, go time for the Tigers. They've had several chances, been one pass shy of completing. Chinchilla pushes it in. Again trying to push it across. Nothing there, and here comes Coastal the other way. They go three on three. Now Homali. He runs through, just going to wait for the defense to come to him. Up 3-1, to one, he realizes, listen, the goal's really not that important. 6-20, clock moving. Tigers are going to need a great individual performance from one of the guys up top to really make a play here. He just wondered, do they have enough gas left in the tank? Clemson's going to need a shot from outside the 17 to somehow find the back of the net. 
one that is being pressured up so much by Coastal. Under six to go, 5.55 in counting. Coastal liking where they are right now. Good punt. Let it out. Homali, though, will settle it. Push it off the far wing. Perot will just draw the defense to him. And the ball taken away by Clemson. Here's Kurtz. Plays it upfield. Chinchilla trying to run it down. Pepra trying to run it down from behind. Chinchilla turns it into the box. Opportunity here. Push it out front. And it's cleared. They got what they needed there. The Tigers had the chance right there. I think Gutierrez came from behind and cleared that out. Shannon going to take the long outside shot. And R.S. Ortiz able to dive and make the save. See, I like that by Shannon right there. Low shot, skipping along the ground. That's a tough play for the goalie. Kurt settles it with 440 left. Smith on the wing, pushes it. Looking for the cross. Deflects out. Willoughby clears it out of bounds and another throw in for Clemson back towards midfield. We got a man down now for Coastal. And that is safe. Ahabali goes down. That's a cramp as you can see them trying to stretch it out. See him walking along and then down he goes. It was almost like a signal. <laughs> he was almost like looking to the sideline, and all of a sudden, oh, like he, I know you like he felt a dart, that. like he felt a dart or something, and just went collapsing down. and get a little drink of water. You hate to say because you know it's in his body, but it did look that way. And the rest of scores going on in the NCAA soccer tournament tonight. You can see finals in Wake advances. Number 16 seed VCU falls at home to Butler. Fordham goes to Virginia and upsets the 11th seeded team. Wilmington, North Carolina, nothing, nothing at half. Duke advances or about to advance. It's now a 2-1 though as Florida International on the board. Wisconsin, Notre Dame, they're in overtime scoreless. Michigan, the 13th seed, they fall at home to Colgate. Louisville at home, the number four seed, they advance over San Francisco by a score of three to two. How great is this, Don? I mean, so competitive, the action here tonight, and so many uh, so many upsets. And we're watching one right here, Coastal. 3-1 over Clemson with 4.05 left in regulation. To push it into the box. Robinson trying to turn, get a shot, can't, deflects. Once again, back line defense there. Clemson going to keep it in the Coastal half, and the ball touched out of bounds on the shot to clear. Strambler. Touch it out of bounds. Quick throw in to Bunk Anderson. Kurtz. Trying to get it to right, but again, touch back. Melvin will have to chase it down. Shannon. Feeds it inside. Trying to back heel touch it. Comes all the way through, though. Menares Ortiz able to scoop it up. And again, Kosher can work some precious seconds off the clock here. Little attempt by a back heel touch there by Harrison Kurtz. Here comes Clemson the way back to live action. Robinson trying to send it the far wing and he's sent it out of bounds. He was zigging while everybody else was zagging. And that's been the way it's been for the last few minutes. And that last play looked like there was a kind of a miscommunication as they were sending the ball into the box, whether Chinchilla was going to play for it. It's safe. Ahamali will check back in. It's Melker, who has scored two goals. Scored the first and the third goal tonight here for Coastal. Checks out. Under three to go now. 
255 and counting. Clemson's going to pull off anything spectacular. They're going to have to do it here quickly. Although Post will just shoot it right back into the Clemson zone, and Clemson will have to be forced with a quick throw in. Still playing a man down, but they have defended this 3-1 lead very, very well. Here's Rainer shooting it across, and a header on frame by Dietrich, and a, just a hand save once again by Linares Ortiz. He's had one get by him. Other than that, he has been brilliant in that corner. And that ball will be headed out, and they'll say that went off of Dietrich and become a goal kick under two minutes to go. Stop the clock. As Ortiz is trying to use as much time as he possibly can and kind of got caught. And he'll boot it away. She was Wisconsin. That's a final now, a golden goal. A Catalano. So they upset the 12 seed Notre Dame. So the upsets are just continuing here tonight in the NCAA men's soccer tournament. Foul call there on Clemson. Ball headed out to Smith with a minute 14 left. Robinson. Dietrich trying to push it in. Smith will push it back. Shannon, we got a minute left. Rayner trying to push it in. Can't. Coastal will clear that out. Bunk Anderson jumps on it with 45 seconds left. Robinson, outside shot, deflects. And Linares Ortiz takes it, and Coastal knows now they're going to come on the road and pull off the upset. And feed it forward. Perot deep into the Clemson zone. He'll just dribble it out to the far corner. And Coastal Carolina is going to come here to Clemson and upset the number eight national seed Clemson Tigers here tonight. As Chinchilla will push it forward, but that'd be to no avail. This is a very impressive performance here tonight by Coastal Carolina. Got the two goals early in the first uh, four and a half minutes of the match, and then a quick goal in the second half to go back up by two goals, three to one. And Clemson could never find the answer to come back and really get back into this match. That, so that, the number eight seed Clemson here tonight, Mike, goes down. Yeah, that first goal in the second half was really the one that changed the whole tempo of that second half. So Coastal Carolina will advance on in this NCAA men's soccer tournament with an upset win here tonight.